Well, um, in fact, uh, Munich was uh, one of the first largest uh, commissions uh, in Europe. And so uh, it, the airport was, in fact, the largest commission that I had done to date. And it uh, opened up the, um, the work window for me in a very different way because I went from drawing uh, to uh, computerized work. Especially like having the studio we put with computers and copying and all of this, it really reorganized the studio in the way to work. Is that because it's a kilometer long and it's directional, that uh, one can in fact uh, very interestingly ride through the space because they're moving sidewalks that move through four different zones but all in a straight line. And it incorporated uh, the architectural housing, heating system, lighting, uh, the moving uh, sidewalks, all of these became elements of the work. So for me it was a complete and new direction and that was the result of the collaboration with the architect who in fact had a vision similar to this. We of course, you know, you always think of a bigger budget and in those days we were going to have huge LED screens. The technology wasn't there yet in the quiet zones for advertising. But then the end advertising was handled by another company and it was better for me to just stick with mine rather than fit the advertising format. The color concept was uh, basically using uh, 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 coloring tubes that were interchangeable that were easy access and that had a maintenance capability that was within a reasonable range. And that worked very well. I used color in relationship to its material context. Like if a certain color worked in an area, then it was employed. Or maybe you use color to build up a kind of crescendo, let's say that you're coming to the end of a moving sidewalk that maybe there would be a concentration of color or maybe there would be a depletion of color as you complete each zone. So it was how color was used in the design of your bodily experience moving through space. It was very interesting working with the architect because we had, there were certain given conditions that you had to work within. You know, you were moving not in a straight space, for instance, you were moving in, and I actually had several options. I could have chosen straight hallways. And I had done that. I wasn't interested in it. And the choice that I made through the architect was that I wanted a space that you could enter from different areas, and it was not straight, but almost kind of zigzag and right-angled space. And it connected, it does connect, um, one office system to another office system. And people have to walk through it uh, uh, to sort of get to the next place of employment. And I wanted to design something that was an interesting experience to get to the next position. And that's the architects understood, so we altered ceiling heights in some of the areas. We were able to open up either the floor or the ceiling or with very slight different architectural uh, manipulations make the space much more uh, uh, atmospheric and advantageous and that's one of the reasons why it's so reductive too. And color was used like in the areas that would get maybe more red and more concentrated. These were areas of entrance, entrance or exit. So there was a kind of psychological color pull as well.